Jurors in the Ada County courtroom today heard closing arguments in Chad Daybell's murder trial. Now, the eastern Idaho man is accused of murdering his wife of nearly 30 years, Tammy, and two of his current wife's kids, JJ and Tylee. Abby Davis has been in court all day today. Abby, it's not over yet. No, it's not. I just walked out of the courthouse a couple of minutes ago. The state started its rebuttal about 10 minutes ago, so responding to the defense's closing argument, the state went first today. Prosecuting attorney Lindsey Blake went through a timeline of Chad and Lori's relationship, how they met at a conference in 2018, how the two started their affair shortly after, and how they believed in dark and light spirits. Blake says the couple thought Tammy, JJ, and Tylee were dark, zombies they had to get rid of. She pushed the argument that Chad is the mastermind behind the crimes. She read text messages between Chad and Lori. About a month after Charles passing, Lori's asking Chad, do you think there is a perfectly orchestrated plan to take the children? Chad's response, there is a plan being orchestrated for the children. I, I was showing last night how it fit together. Again, Lori asked Chad, Chad has the answers. Defense attorney John Pryor pushed back. He said the state didn't give any proof there was an agreement between Chad, Lori, and Alex Cox to kill the kids and Tammy. Alex is Lori's dead brother. The prosecuting attorney talked about, oh, there was a plan. And, and insinuating to you, suggesting to you that this plan was to kill the children. And at no time did the prosecuting attorney show you a text message that said, let's kill the kids, let's kill Tammy, okay? Like I said earlier, the state right now giving its rebuttal. The jury could deliberate today. They could start deliberations tomorrow. We just don't know at right now when that will start and how long that will last. But something that is interesting, Joe and Brenda, is at the start of the trial, there were 18 jurors. That number is down to 17. One of the jurors had to go home. But when deliberations do start, there will just be 12 jurors, and those will be chosen randomly. Interesting to know. Of course, our team is following the minute to minute action inside the Ada County courtroom. If and when there is a verdict today or tomorrow, we will get that to you as quickly as possible. Abby, thank you so much for the report.